So we usually run our small group. We meet on Wednesday nights. We usually try to gather for the first 30, 45 minutes and just eat, fellowship, talk about the week, talk about real life stuff, and then uh, we'll get into whatever study that we're studying for the week. Uh, we run our small group. So we meet um, in our home on Sunday nights and um, we have about 30 million children in our small group. And so we, um, meet for a very limited time. We have babysitters for one hour. And so um, in that hour, we really stick to our SOAP Bible study um, and prayer requests for each other. And then after that, if people want to stay and hang, they can. But um, our babysitters really clock out at an hour. So we try to maximize that time. And then our social time is either before or after that hour. We're an open small group. We meet at 930 at the church. Sunday morning. Anybody that walks in is welcome. Uh, we start at 930 and we will start with items of business such as uh, the raising of money to support missions and what have you, planning socials, things like that. Then we take prayer requests for about 10 minutes and uh, then we'll go right into the Bible study lesson and that's usually at about quarter of 10 10 minutes of 10, and we adjourn at uh, 10.45 in time to make it to the church at 11 o'clock on the Bonnie Oaks campus. So we meet, uh, we run it uh, bi-weekly. We have bi-weekly meetings. Um, basically, we do a study um, on Monday nights, and then every two weeks we have a family night where we just get the kids together and just kind of hang out, fellowship, and have them, you know, run around and be crazy. and. We kind of hop houses and parks and, and all sorts of stuff. So, um, but we, we do that and then we, we really made a point um, to let our members know that we also learn with them, um, that we're just facilitators. We're not really dictators of conversation and we've really seen a lot of spiritual growth out of that. People feel like they can share because we're all in the same boat, we're all learning. And so we really have seen God work um, in our group through that dynamic. We're hosting in our home. Uh, the frequency for us is every other week. We felt like that was about right for young people with busy schedules and uh, the engagement's been really good. Uh, we get good turnout and we kind of mix in social activities with them as well. Uh, so it's not all just uh, study time, but uh, it's, it's been good. We had a little, just went out to dinner with them this week and mm -hmm. uh, had all but like a couple show up. So it's, uh, it's been good. We host our small group in our home each week and we um, everybody brings their kids. Some couples have kids, some couples don't. And we have a babysitter that watches our kids while we do Bible study and fellowship. So we meet each week actually. Uh, we start with an, about an hour worth of just eating and fellowshipping together, catching up on the week's events and um, how everyone's doing. And then we have a couple of awesome babysitters that come uh, about an hour in and that is when the uh, kids go to playroom or outside to play and uh, we have about an hour worth of time to um, study. And towards the end, one of my favorite parts is that um, we do prayer requests and things uh, separate, um, so the men and the women separate out, and we have an opportunity to really um, be accountable to one another and just share each other's burdens um, in a really specific way, and we really enjoy that. We structure our small group so that Every week we have a set time that we meet, so everybody knows that's a part of our group, that that night is off limits, we meet on Sunday nights. Um, and we typically try to have like a snack or we'll plan a meal so that everybody's not starving and ready to go home um, while we're meeting. And um, we've, we've studied different things. We've studied everything from following the sermons and getting together on Sunday nights and talking about the sermon, uh, asking questions that we had, that things that we were confused about during the sermon. Uh, we've picked studies um, that were pertinent to kind of where um, our group was. We've done marriage studies um, and different things like that. Um, but all of it is discussion based. We don't necessarily want to come and just listen to somebody talk. We want it to be a place where you can ask questions, where people know that there's an expectation to respond, and it helps train us in having biblical conversations with other people. Um, so 
we also like to have fun. So uh, like this weekend, we are involved in a small group uh, wiffle ball tournament uh, with a couple other small groups. So it's not always sit, meet, and just read and talk about hard things. We also like to celebrate together um, and try to have fun because like we've said, it's, it's a community. Um, we're building a biblical community and you can't do that um, just by sitting around a table. So we like to um, throw parties, go to uh, baby showers, attend weddings, celebrate birthdays. So um, those are some of the things that we do in our small group. How do I run my small group? Uh, I'm basically a facilitator. Uh, I don't really consider myself a, t a teacher, but uh, luckily uh, God knew that and he put people in the class that are willing to participate. Uh, I, I do have a, uh, a, a substitute teacher that I know I can call on anytime I need them to. We've got a, a, someone who is, takes care of us getting together about once a quarter for, for socials. And uh, then we uh, have a, a prayer list that we go through every week and uh, remind them during the week that we need to pray for things that have been shared on Sunday morning.